sorry. <laughs> Good morning. Right now it's exactly 11 o'clock. Is it 11? Okay, it's 11 o'clock now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Sunday Sharing. Every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock, I invited the Balance Method practitioner. They learn from Dr. Richard Tefutan, and some of them listen to my seminar and following me. So either for uh, the seasoned practitioner or your newcomers, and you will all join together at this time of the uh, week so we can share more information about balance method, case study, and also how we join together hang out together, become a big family as a Balanced Method families. And today I'm so honored to be able to invite a Gore Dur from Calgary, Canada to come to join us. Uh, Do Dr. Gord being a uh, hang out with Dr. Tan, I think since 2000, no, 1998, something like that, correct? That's well, yep. Gore, Gore will tell you more about Gore will definitely tell you more about how did he get to know Dr. Tan and all the good, good fun and stuff. Please skip all the part that I have me wearing bikini everywhere. So don't so you don't need to mention, okay? But everything else is fine. <laughs> oh, we will go way back. So that's why uh, they know everything. All right. Thank you. So hi, Gore. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me on. Or should I call you sister? Sister's good. The little sister's good. That's right. And Absolutely. you can call me Sif, your, you can call me Sifu later. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. All yeah. right. So since Gore is already here, the microphone is great. So let me read a little bit about Gore so you know who he is and where is he practiced from. Give me just one moment and we will continue our interview. Gore Dewar based out of the clinic in Calgary, Canada. And he has two clinics in Calgary, Canada. Gore is also gold level certified in the Dr. Tan's balance method acupuncture. And he also certified us a BATS consultant, three essential, the chrono analysis consultants. Having learning at the site of the late Grandmaster, Dr. Richard Tefutan, Gore's interest in the mind-body connection motivated him to complete a master degree in the clinical hypnotherapy in 2005. So that complementing his degree in physiotherapy and the medical acupuncture. He is wholeheartedly devoted to giving back to the community basing his time between the volunteering, his amazing acupuncture skills, and treating his own clinic patients for a bevy of conditions, including smoking sensation, weight loss, phobias, and sleeping disorder. Let's welcome Gore Dewar. Yay! Thank you. You sound like you, Gore? That sounds kind of like me. Yeah, I basically found that the reason I did hypnotherapy to start with was yes. because I always found that I didn't really get great results with, um, this was before I met Dr. Tan anyways, but Got in it. some ways, although I'd already been doing balance method as well, but I just found that weight loss, or at least I thought that's what hypnotherapy was going to be about with. I would do weight loss and smoking cessation. I always found I didn't get very good results and you get amazing results with that. Yeah. Having said that, we don't really need to talk about hypnotherapy any more than that. We'll talk more about acupuncture and things like that. Okay. And um, I met Dr. Tan in Vancouver, BC, Canada. He came up to um, the fellow that I get all my acupuncture supplies from, from Eastern Currents, is out of Vancouver. Yes. And yes. He, does, he does these um, calms, um, sessions, or whatever you want to call them where he gets all sorts of uh, acupuncturists, all sorts of people in. And you go in to see these guys in the morning, they do a little spiel for about an hour. 
and there's four of them. So you do four hours in the morning, and then in the afternoon you have to pick two people. <clears throat> and then you get a two hour session with them in the afternoon and they go more into depth about what they're doing. So I picked Dr. Tan and went to his because I was really intrigued with the stuff that he said in the morning. It really kind of resonated with me. And I got in there and I just started loving what he was doing. And then they did the dog and pony show at the end of the day, which was he would treat people. That's what he always called it. He would treat people and it didn't matter who it was. And I was amazed that it didn't matter who the hell went up there. He could fix them like real quick, you know? So I went up too. I thought, you know, I want to make sure that this actually works before I'm going to invest in this. So I had a little problem with my left knee. So I went up there and, and he did quick and dirty. He just did three in and in one side of my elbow, which means three, three in on, on the um, Asher side. And it happened to be on the opposite side. He found more Asher there. And, you know, I got up and I went, well, I haven't even been paid. This is crazy. I couldn't believe it. So he had me sold right there. Yeah. So then that was in January. So he had what he called a balance conference in March all the time. We have one in March and then you have one in fall to you, right? Fall usually was a little more advanced sometimes, right? Yes. Yeah. So went down to the March one. We, uh, my wife and I came down. Jackie's also an acupuncturist as well. Yeah. And we went down to this and, uh, Afterwards, he always used to have what we called happy hour. And it was at the Doubletree in San, San Diego. And we didn't know anybody and we're from Canada and everybody's looking at me, you're from Canada? What the fuck did you come from here for Canada? It's crazy. So all the way from Canada. So anyways, Jackie and I were sitting up at the bar and all the other guys were sitting down. You know how that works. They, they all sit down with Dr. Tan and have a few drinks and then they go up for supper. So we're sitting up there and he kind of remembered me from Vancouver because we were both in the airport together and he sought me out and he said, you were in my class. And I thought, uh -huh. I remember you know, I thought that's amazing. So he says, well, let's go have a drink. So we went and had a drink. At the <laughs> and, airport? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we had a drink at the airport. Really? And then, so yeah. So then when I came down, I think he kind of recognized me again. And we're sitting up there, and he said, hey, uh, why don't you guys join us for a drink? So we said, all right. So we sit down, and, and then they said, what are you doing for dinner? And we went, mm, nothing. And he said, he looked around, and he said, can you draw these guys? To so somebody, I forget who it was now. It doesn't even matter. And they said, yeah, yeah. So we went, we went for dinner, and the rest is history, basically. Yeah, we became close friends after that. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, it's great. We had a yeah, lot of fun together. Dr. Tan is very easy. Okay, let me ask a question. Does Dr. Tan bring a blonde hair, beautiful girl with him? He had fun, yeah. That, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He had, uh, what was her name? Something tennis. I forget. That, that must, must be pre Eileen, huh? I think it was, it was. unless you <laughs> dyed your hair that year. <laughs> but no, I think I would have recognized you anyway. That must be before 1998. A or 1990, well, 1999, yes, 2000, it was 1990, right? Yeah, it's January, two, no, no, March, March of 2000, uh, 1998, yeah. Yeah, I was uh, still selling acupuncture needle. I wasn't even acupuncturist, so I, it, was, it won't be me there, so I no, know. No, no, it wasn't. I remember later on that, uh, because your birthday is very similar day as Dr. Tan's birthday, Thank I you. always see you send a uh, gift to, to Canada. Yes. From Canada always, to him. I would always send him down a, a bottle of uh, Johnny Walker Blue. Oh, yes. From I, I, Balboa, I, from I the receive Balboa. that often. The Balboa, yeah, yeah, exactly. From the Balboa um, liquor store. And they would send it over to his clinic. Yeah. I know you used to see it there, yeah. Yeah, I used to see all kind of drinks, uh, alcohols, nice brand of the alcohol, send it to the clinic for him. Yeah, that's what I want to tell everybody. Gore 
he is really starting from the foundation of the Chinese medicine. He studied the whole course of being an acupuncturist. He's not those physiotherapists learning for a hundred hours of acupuncture and then you do acupuncture. No, he is wholehearted. He studied in 1994 in China and he also um, interned with in the hospital. So he is a real acupuncturist, not just those halfway acupuncturists. So his background and basis of the Chinese medicine is very solid. And also he has a degree in physiotherapy. So basically I learned so much about how to do some of the physio things, like a Chinese, we call it Tuina, from Gore, and which helps a lot of my patients also. So I am also really excited that 2021, we will have online classes and in-person classes. I would like to invite Gore to teach all this, how to treat the really tough TMJ problem because he fixed mine. Apparently you guys know, I always stressed out and I clench in my teeth every day. You know, those laughing at me, it's true. I stressed out all the time. I know, I know. That's, That's why I'm funny. laughing. So he fixed my TMJ. It was amazing and I feel right away feel much better and then, and then, and then that didn't come back, maybe 20, 30% return. And then I would do acupuncture for the follow-up. It's really amazing. So I would like to start in some of these classes, combine acupuncture and this kind, this, uh, this kind of uh, uh, treatment together. So please stay in tune and sign up for the mailing list. And then we'll, I'll be able to get this for you to first hand it, to send it out to you when the gore will come and to teach the class. So. Is that good that your background for the acupuncture? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. So what did it keep you so fascinating about Dr. Tan's balance method that keep you coming back for not only acupuncture, you also learned the Batsu and the, the three essentials and this and so forth. Well, you know, I remember coming down to San Diego for the first conference. Yeah. And getting in there and you know, you, you almost feel overwhelmed. And, and I know that happens for you all the time too, because it's a totally different concept and it's a, it's a wonderful concept and it starts to make sense to you as you go along and you go, wow, how come nobody was ever taught this? You know, you, they, were, they, they would teach you as much as they could, but they were, he went back and he found out all the core essentials of all this stuff and tied it together for us in a nice little package. And, and he was never one to keep things back either. He would all share everything. He'd give you handouts. He would, he would make it as simple as possible for you. And, you know, I came away from that seminar and I'm going, you said at the seminar that only 2% of the people that come to this course, and there was about 120 of us there, he says probably about 2% will actually do something like this. They'll go home, they'll go, it doesn't work. That's, that's crap, I don't, I don't think it works. And I said to myself, I'm not gonna be that person. I'm gonna be hopefully one of those 2%. And I stuck with it. And right from day one, when I got back there, I fumbled around with it for a while, just like everybody else. And I stuck to one system, system one, and I probably did, system one for at least two to three months only wow by that time you get a little bit more proficient and you can remember what the heck you're doing you know, and i i really listen to him that people don't always do that and that, that's kind of that's their failing point right right I, I was lucky that i actually did that because there were lots of times i would do other courses and i go home and i go that didn't work and i'd throw it away so you spend thousands and thousands of dollars for nothing but thank God, and thank you, Dr. Tan. I, um, I did stick with it and got more proficient with it. And, you know, it was amazing because at first I just, I would have these people come in and I would just be paying for them and blah, blah, blah. And then as I got better at it and I started using it as a medicine, right? I branched out and now, of course, I just use it for pain for when I need it but mostly I, I do medicine, you know, that's kind of how it works. Yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. 
and it really ties physio and acupuncture together as well. I must admit, I'm really yes. happy that way. Yeah. Yes. And I kept going back and back and back, and I would do the same four courses over, and then I'd go into advanced track once in a while and go, oh, Jesus. I, I get it, you know? And then once in a while, you know, you'd come back every time, and you'd go, there'd be some little nugget, and you'd go, aha, uh -huh, that's, oh my God. How could I be so stupid? How, how come I didn't get that the first time? But then you'd come back, and that's why you keep coming back, is you get these aha light bulb moments come yeah. along. And also, we started becoming friends with all these people. I met you. I met all sorts of friends <clears throat> that were also coming back all the time, too. <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah. Don't forget, Anna DeLopo, she's also watching right now. Say hi to Anna. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Okay, <laughs> that's Jackie, in case you want to know. That's the Gore's wife. She's yeah. Jackie. She's also an acupuncturist certified with the Academy of Acupuncture. Jackie, you can leave your face a little longer so people get to know you. If we come to any party next year, that's Jackie. Yep. You can't miss her, that's for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and there's, a, you know, there was a... It wound up being sort of a core group of people that, that kind of stuck together almost, you might say. And we'd share ideas, we'd learn from each other. It was wonderful. And it was just so much fun. And we still do it with you, too. I mean, right, we still right. From you, for God's sakes, you know? Yes. Yeah. You, you went way past us real fast because you got to spend so much time with Dr. Tan. You did, you know? And, and you're not stupid either you're a pretty smart girl i hate to tell you that but it's true thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you from a big brother like you yeah baby Very <laughs> sure. okay so yeah that was basically it and then as you progress then you get into more sort of subtle stuff and and the beautiful stuff about his is you can be so creative too he, he would never tell you what to do he would tell you how to do it in some way. But his classic line was, somebody would say, well, uh, how, how, do you, how do you fix that guy's headache or something that he didn't even know? And he'd always look at the person and go, how the hell would I know? That's what Sufu always said, how the hell should I know? How the hell would I know? <laughs> yes, that's how he cursed, for sure. Oh, for sure, yeah. which was great. I love that sort of thing, you know? You just didn't get that in other people. You'd always get so much formality. And I, I love the fact that he was so informal and so down to earth, you know. And first of all, geez, he was funny. He was great. You know? He was a friend. All right. So okay. now we are, we are cutting to our case study moment. Okay. So I need you to give us a very fun, memorable case study that you have remembered all this time that I want you to share with everybody how did you do it and what's happening okay give us some information about the case all right um it was about a 32 year old female she was a nurse and she had fallen flat on her face on a tile floor and just smashed her face up quite badly I mean it was bad it was bad um, she fractured a number of bones in her face. She fractured her jaw. She had a bad concussion. And tons of dental, obviously, with lots of surgery. <clears throat> and she'd been around the block. She'd seen a lot of people. Yeah. And one of her problems to start with that I, I treated first was the fact that she could only drive about 20 miles an hour on a, on a road because as soon as she got a little faster than that, if there was fences or telephone poles or light standards, it would make her dizzy and she couldn't drive. Oh. So she lived about 20 miles out of Calgary and she had to drive through the back roads all the time to get home. She had to go slow. She couldn't be out on the highway where going 70 miles an hour. So she came and saw me and I was going, ooh, this is gonna be fun. This was, this was a few years ago now, but I saw her about a year post accident. So she'd been through a bunch of surgery. She had all this, and but she had so much dizziness to start with. And I'm a vestibular rehabilitation 
a specialist as well, which means I treat dizziness or vertigo, which is blah, blah, blah. We don't need to go into that. So um, the first thing I did was treat her dizziness and it took about four or five sessions and I cleared her of that. And now she's feeling good that way. She still had a lot of nausea when she was driving, but she could at least drive faster now. And now I started concentrating on her face pain and her TMJ. She had quite a bit of dysfunction in her, how her jaw was moving and things like that. Even muscle imbalance and stuff like that. I won't go into that because that's more physio stuff. But the, the pain part of it, I, I dealt with. Um, basically, you know, the three points you have, gallbladder, small intestine, and triple warmer or sun gel, right? So I would ask her, you know, when she first came in to, when I was treating her for acupuncture, um, where's your pain, you know? And she went, well, I have pain here, a pain here, pain here. My two front teeth are completely numb. And uh, she had massive headaches all the time. So headache all over the place. So I treated her with um, three, three in the three jingle well points on her, on her fingers for headache all over the thing. And her pain went away quite, her headache pain went away quite rapidly. And she went, I mean, that doesn't make sense. Because she's a nurse, right? She's Western developed. And I said, well, do you care? And she went, well, not really. No. I, I love the fact that you got rid of my headache. That's wonderful. So then I went into uh, working on TMJ stuff. And she had TMJ on both sides. So I did in channel for that on both sides. So I went into um, heart channel, just below her elbow line, Ashu, found a bunch of Ashu points along there. And, you know, heart balance is um, SI and gallbladder, SI system three and gallbladder system two. And I said, what is your pain? And she'd go, it's, it's, it's a lot better, it's not gone yet, but it's a lot better. I said, okay, just let them cook for a while and see what happens. So then now she's got all this stomach pain going on in here and around there's large intestine and stomach along there too. And so I would go down into her spleen channel, which is also in, <clears throat> and just, I'd go usually just below her knee, meaning her eye line. And then just distal to that, I'd usually find some off ship points. And I'd, I'd put some needles in along there. Usually I only had to do one side, sometimes two, but not very often. And, um, you know, you, I do maybe this long of needles, like a lot of needles all down her leg to try and get all this stuff, right? Yeah. And uh, she was great. Once in a while, I'd have to do around her belly button for her mouth. Yes. Image wise again, I would do that for all that. And then sometimes I would do large intestine osseous around, around quite about, about midline of her arm or her mouth as well, or her teeth. And it went along and it took, I, I treated her for almost a year. I'd also do techniques inside her mouth like I've done with you to release her uh, masters and her pterygoid muscles and there's some other stuff that we won't get into that. And, um, you know, after a year or so, no pain went away, the dizziness went away, she was back to normal. So, that's, that's wonderful. Pretty, yeah, yeah. And she stuck with it because yeah. nobody else helped her. I know that's hard to believe, eh? <laughs> anyway, yeah. It was kind of, it was very, very gratifying. Very gratifying. Yeah. So, I've also developed through her, and I thank her so much for this because my first Sifu up in Edmonton that taught me acupuncture, the medical acupuncture side of it, which I thought was supposed to be the greatest thing of all the club. I mean, it was wonderful what he did for me, but I kind of had a wrong idea about acupuncture. In those days, I had the Western view of, oh, right. for pain, and it would help my physio practice. Well, I learned that that wasn't true at all, but he always said to me, your hardest patients are who you learn the most from. And, you know, 
That is very true. Very, very true. Yeah. So I have developed a quite a great TMJ protocol from her. Actually, that's where I learned. You know, I learned along with her on how to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes. Cool. Yeah. That's why we have practice. We yeah. don't have a business. We have a practice. We practice with the patients. Yeah, you're always, always learning. And then I also share the time with you. Thank you for a wonderful case study. I think that will be a great seminar for all the people who's here that can learn how to treat TMJ because the people in the U.S. right now, they're not only stressed out, they are jittery. They are uh, grinding their teeth at night. They couldn't sleep well because all the condition right now. So it's really important that if we can get this right for all the people that we seeing as a, a, our patient. So now, after you do all this, I remember that you told me that you wanted to join me with the medical mission. So last year, we finally went on to this wonderful trip to Lima, Peru. Yes, we sure did. Yes, and then we have all this wonderful patients that we saw. And then please tell us how you feel at the time when you have 200 people waiting. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy, wasn't it? two hours. But, oh my God, it was something else. Yeah, we were pretty tired every day, and that's for sure. It was wonderful. Those people were so much fun to be around. I mean, they're so poor, they're so thankful. They came dressed as well as they could every day out of respect they showed so much respect to us they're wonderful people and uh yeah that's to poke a lot of holes in a lot of people right yes and then you are you, you remember those uh protocols that we have on the medical uh, mission booklet that i gave you guys so just just treat it and then they all get better right mm -hmm. oh man i couldn't believe in one week how many people we saw there's like 1500 or something is i don't know it's a lot it's just one day is already two like 400 that day yeah and 300 we we did it how about, i think seven days right no we did four and a half days fifteen four and a half days 1500 people yeah that's a great chance to practice and yeah. jackie was doing really well oh yeah yeah and and you had a chance to have her and you doing all that and everybody. And then we have one of the Dr. Wong from all the way from Thailand join yeah. us yeah. to go to the medical mission. He's so a wonderful we, man. Yeah. yeah, so we can all learn together, getting better of our needling skills and then our diagnosis. Because we have seven people can talk about how to treat if you have any difficult cases. Nobody knows everything, that's for sure. Right. Well, maybe you. The rest of us not so much. Thank you. I learned from the master, right? Your your teacher too. So. Yep. You got that right. Yes. You sure did. Yes. Thank you. You went by us like that. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I have to. You know, it, sometimes it just that you have to be, uh, really on a high speed train to get to where you have to be to be able to treat the patient the way that they want to be treated and then the results are very easy to get. It's just how you, how familiar you are, how good are you to using the different strategy to see all different uh, conditions. So yes, it is, it is amazing that balanced method can excel us so fast with this uh, acupuncture field. That's very true, but you have to be dedicated. Absolutely. And uh, is Jackie next to you? Yes, she is. Join us. We have a few more minutes and let's have Jackie chat with us. I just wanted to, him to closer, share. Closer, closer, closer. Thank you. No, we don't like to get that close, you know. I just wanted him to share his own personal story back in 2012 before we went to China. With Dr. Tan. Yeah. He needed a double knee replacement and as a physiotherapist didn't want to do it the traditional way, right, Ooh. through surgery. So he spent, um, he went six months earlier to the Grand Cayman, had his stem cells harvested, had his stem cells injected in just a month before we went to China with Dr. Tan and you. I and yes. balance method and his stem cell replacement 
within a month after his surgery, well, his stem cell replacement, he was keeping up with us on the Great Wall of China. So, oh, yeah. You know, there you go. Balanced method, stem cells. He didn't need traditional <laughs> surgery. No. And he's still golfing and curling professionally, competitively. So great, great stuff. And all thanks to the Health and Balance Method. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, so you do still have your real knee? You bet. <laughs> yep. Yes. I got them both still. And he's got nicer legs than I do, Eileen, right? <laughs> she wouldn't no, agree with that. No way. No. <laughs> yeah. So that's wonderful. Yeah. So thank you for sharing. Acupuncture can help knee problems for sure, for sure. And right now, maybe people are going to ask you, where did you get your stem cell treatments? So later on, we have to put it all on the Facebook. So maybe people want to access for that information. But acupuncture will be complementing for all kinds of treatment. can be also their individual as a primary treatment and also can be along with other treatment together. So okay. I believe that as long as we do well with that one, two, three, the logic, we can do everything that possibly we can. No question. Yes. So thank you so much for joining me. Is, is it 11.30, that 30 minutes interview flying by just so fast? Amazing. So please everyone keep in mind that Get onto our Facebook or our uh, newsletter. So once Gore has his classes solidified, and I will post online so you guys will see and register for his class can be in person or online live streaming. And then looking forward to have Gore share with us regarding the uh, the TNJ. I think there's so many people have these problems, and then uh, they don't have enough people to help. So I think that will be our focus with the physiotherapy plus acupuncture. And uh, that will be really bring us to a, 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 a notch. Okay, two notches. Yes. <laughs> and then Keith from Ireland, want to thank you for the great conversation. Anna DeLobo also here, want to thank you. And say she say hi to Jackie. And hi, Anna. Veshwas was here, is here, and also uh, uh, Rankinson, and of course, everybody here online, Lars, Erica is also yes. here, Hiroko also here. So a lot of people watching us. Thank you so much for sharing every Sunday morning, 11 o'clock in, in the Pacific Standard Time. So we'll see you next week. And thank you so much, Jackie and Gore. Love you guys. Love you too, dear. Love you too. Bye. Uh, Anna want me to say that was great. Miss you guys. Big hug. Big and hug, Anna. Yes. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.